Jessica, you are my best friend. Today I make a promise that I will respect you as a person, a partner, and an equal. I will be here when you need me, but I will also push you to grow and be your own self. I take you for who you are and who you will become. I'll offer sound advice, sarcastic comments, even when you don't want them. The challenges of life are going to be what make us grow, and the struggles we face together will build a bond. There's nothing in this world I wouldn't do for you, and I will always be there for you. I will be there to protect you, and as your husband, I will love you and listen to you. I will continue to grow as a man, and vow to put all my effort into what is best for us as a couple and a family. I want to marry you, I want to have kids with you, and I want to grow old and build us a house. <laughs> I want us to settle down, and I want to die when I'm 110 years old in your arms. I don't want 48 un un uninterrupted hours, I want a lifetime. Dr. Derek Shepard, Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> Season 4, Episode 4. <laughs> Jessica, all of these words are true and nothing makes me happier than the thought of you becoming my wife. I love you. The first time you told me you loved me was the moment I realized you were the one I was meant to spend my life with. You know me better than anyone else in this world and somehow you still managed to love me. I love that I can trust you and depend on you. I love your patience, your humor, and your support. I love how you are the same person behind closed doors that the rest of the world sees. Your loyalty to me and devotion to Everett is what I am most proud of. I'm not sure that a lifetime is long enough for me to return all that you have given me, but I promise to laugh with you and encourage you. I promise to love you more than Grays and to let you go fishing <laughs> with the boys. I promise that I always will support you, inspire you, and make sure I'm not just yelling at you because I'm hungry. <laughs> Danny, you are where my heart is, and I am so excited to see what our future holds. I love you. I love you. I had the joy of living with Jess when her and Danny first started hanging out. That came with the late night talks, many laughs, a few tears, Danny. <laughs> but most importantly, I got to see how Jess lit up every time Danny came into conversation. It's been a few years since then, and although I might not get to see you at your highest highs and take care of you at your lowest lows, I feel warmth and happiness knowing that you'll have Danny beside you forever to take care of you, to watch graze with you, to womp with you in times that I can't. When you go through life, there'll be many ups and downs, but hopefully they will always be in the bedroom. <laughs> Cheers, you guys. <laughs> you may be the fisherman of the family, but pretty clear, Jess has made the greatest catch of all. No catch and release here. Here's to just Danny and Everett.
Oh, nice. Blew, I blew a suspender on that one. Congratulations, Jess and Daddy. Love you guys. Congrats, Jess and Danny. I love you. <laughs> wow. Congratulations, Congratulations Danny and Jess. Yes. We yes. love you guys. Woo. Enjoy it. Congratulations, Danny. I'm really happy that you're going to be my new brother. And I've always wanted one. Thank you, buddy. I'm really drunk right now. <laughs> Once upon a time in Shannon Lake, Danny and Jess got married and it, they had a fat cake. We ate the cake. Next thing you know, we found out it was all fake. Oh shit! Straight to YouTube, dog. Straight to YouTube. Speeches are for later, man. Speaking speeches. You doing one? Camera off. Oh, oh, oh.